child ever since the bet awards it's been nothing but mess after mess after mess so i know y'all already hit to this situation with keith lee it was some confusion at the uh, BET Awards where Taraji P. Henson confused Keith Lee with another individual. I forget the other guy name. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Mr. Keith Lee, I don't know what you're thinking right now. This is about a 10.9 out of a 10. Uh, oh. oh, my God. I got caught up in my own inner monologue. I'm so sorry. You're thinking this is a 10. A, a 10.9 out of Let 10. Let it go, girl. My bad. You fine, too, so call me. Give him his flower. And he dropped a video releasing a rose, saying pretty much like, you know, when is daytime is daytime, it'll happen without confusion. One of the few people who had something to say was our guy, Lil Scrappy. He wrote, it was an honest mistake, my boy, happens to us all. But on a real, your name known for being a food critic, and it worked. But sometimes it doesn't. So be cool, buddy. But we got to be better at recognizing and respecting other people. It works both ways. And then Keith Lee dropped this video. Last night was the BT Wars. And right now, it's something on my mind. Let's talk about it. First and foremost, I want to start by saying... I am not upset at Taraji P. Henson by any stretch of the imagination. And not only that, in my opinion, she smoked it last night. I don't think for one second Taraji had any ill will or any ill intentions behind the situation. The situation happened the way it did. It is what it is. I made a video last night where I had the rose that was given to me in my hand and I let it fall on the floor. The reason I did this had nothing to do with Taraji P. Henson. The reason I dropped it on the floor is that I wholeheartedly believe that wasn't my rose. That wasn't my rose. That wasn't my moment. It was given to me, but it wasn't mine. And I always say, I don't want nothing that ain't mine. I want was meant for me, nothing less, nothing more. The entire segment on the production side felt extremely rushed. Not only did it feel rushed, it did not feel intentional. It did not feel purposeful. I'm forever thankful for every room that I'm in. I was more than thankful and more than grateful to just sit there and enjoy the show. Me and my wife, we looked amazing. We felt amazing. We was enjoying the show. I've always spoke about my social anxiety. And for me, just to get out and be in that moment was more than enough for me. So to take me and my wife out of our seats, Put us in different seats. Give Taraji no direction to who we are or what we do. Felt extremely unprepared and unprofessional to me. I'm personally a fan of Taraji. I've been for years and I always will be. I love to see her get the recognition that she deserved in that moment. And had a platform and a stage that she's always deserved. For this situation to take away from her moment and our moment was unfair to both of us. And another example of this is a picture of my wife has been going around and it was a small part caught from an entire moment to make it seem like she had an attitude with Taraji. My wife and myself understand the flirting that Taraji was doing was fully improv and fully joke. It was a hard situation for all of us to be in. We fully understand she made it up on the fly. I was there to just enjoy the show. I was invited. No situations and in life in general. I never longed for the spotlight. If I wanted the spotlight, I would have accepted a quarter of the opportunities that's been presented to us. But none of those opportunities were for me or my family. If you understand that, you understand it. If you don't, I'm okay with that. I'm always gonna be myself. I've always been myself. Nothing about this journey, about this ride, about where we at or where we gonna be is gonna change me. Never have and never will. Never once was I upset that Taraji didn't know who I was. Everything that's for me will be for me. Everything that's for my family will be for my family. Everything that's for you will be for you. When it's supposed to be, how it's supposed to be, with no confusion. I said that last night and that was still misconstrued and I stand on it a thousand percent. Whatever room I'm supposed to be in, whoever's supposed to know me, whenever they're supposed to know me, it will happen how it's supposed to happen. Last night, while I appreciate the opportunity, it wasn't my moment and that's okay. I'm cool with that. And for every single person that's been on this journey with me and that's still on this journey with me, I'm forever grateful. I appreciate y'all. I can't say it enough. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. We all humans. We all make mistakes. It is what it is. I just wish they would have set both of us up for most success in that situation. That's it. God bless you. What did y'all think about his explanation of the reason for him dropping the video and him clearing up some things that kind of transpired from his reaction to what happened at the BET Awards? Well, Taraji P. Henson finally responds. Maybe she didn't see Keith Lee's explanation and she wrote, and I quote, life really is too short for this behavior. He wasn't in his seat. They give a celebrity assigned seats. I rehearsed all damn day to go hit my mark and that young man wasn't in his seat. So he missed his moment. His ego was hurt. He will be fine. I cleaned it up at the end of the show. No love lost here. Well, it sounds like she's blaming Keith Lee for not being in his seat whole time. It ain't even his fault. BET changed his seat. So it sounds like it's a lack of communication all across the board. BET dropped the ball and it had a trickling effect. Let me know your thoughts. Put it in the comments.